Now we've been asked to work out then the error in using f of 0 0.2 then for the series and the approximation which was this answer here. How do we work out the error in anything? Well you should know this equation here. Percentage error in anything is the error compared with the true value and then we need to times it by 100 to turn this fraction to a percentage. So we need to calculate the error that is caused in using f of 0 0.2 by the estimate compared to the true value. So let's look at the uh, f of 0 0.2, the actual true value of it. Okay, Let's just write true value of f of 0 0.2. What you need to do is substitute 0 0.2 into either this equation here or we saw earlier that it was identical to these two partial fractions. Either way, if you substitute x as 0 0.2 into here, you'll find that you should get a value of 4.3417159 and so on. Now we need to work out the approximate value or the estimated value of f of 0 0.2 and that was obtained by this equation from the binomial expansion and if we put that in there we can get the approximate value okay, of f of 0 0.2 substitute 0 0.2 then for that x there and what you should find you get then is 4.39 exactly so when it comes to the percentage error, we'll put there for percentage error, we've got to work out what that error has been. Well, always take the bigger of your two values, and in this case it's going to be 4.39, so you've got 4.39, take away 4.3417159 and so on, and we need to compare that, so that's the error, compare this with the true value, the actual value, and the actual value is that one there, so write that underneath, 4.3417159 and so on. So to turn that fraction to a percentage we want to know what this is of 100. Work that one out on your calculator and you'll find you get 1.1120 and so on and we're asked to give the percentage error to two significant figures. So that's going to be 1.1% to 2SF. Okay?